bro. That's your that's your girl. Yeah. Yes. Yo, stop playing. Man. What are you doing? <laughs> nah, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. What the fuck? Chill. That's not even. No, oh, she hung up on me, bro. <laughs> bro, I don't mean to laugh. Stop fucking playing with me, bro. That's crazy. This <laughs> case. She's not answering, good. Welcome to your world. <laughs> Guys, the last thing you want to be is in a relationship in 2023 with the chick that you're claiming and that you think is your girlfriend, while meanwhile she's being the town bicycle and getting plowed by every type of Tyrone, every type of Chad, and even probably Luis behind your back. This is why you can't date these women. You just have to have sex with them and clap the cheeks down, sort of like the guy's doing on the other end of that phone, and keep it pushing, guys. It's 2023. Women are promiscuous more than ever, and they have more options than ever before. Oh, tell what you talking about yourself, bro. Right. And you don't give a It's not my fault. She's on my playing field. She's nowhere near my playing field. She don't have a clue. I'm not trying to be on your level. Where I came from. I'm she thinks she's my equal. I love my I daughter. I don't want to be don't your mom. I don't want to be. That's the problem. I don't want to be your I mom. But if I need you. I need you. You you mean to tell me I can't need place, you? Right? You want me to stay in that but, daughter but place? But you're not a baby. I don't have that. My responsibilities is basically your mom. I don't want to be. I need me to sit there, listen to you talk, and that's it. That's done. No, I'll give you your chance to talk. And when I talk, you over talk me and change it to how you feel. Okay. She said she hated me and she wish I was dead. Wow. When did she say that? In December. So recently. Okay. Has she been a good mother to you from your point of view? No. In what ways? In what ways? Because I can see this sort of little boy that's still trying to protect his mom, that's trying to come off as like, things are good, I'm okay, I don't want to disrespect you. That you are the daughter. Sure. Sure. You are my daughter. You. you ain't my mama. Come on. That has been your problem all along. I never wanted to be your mama your because child. I would have raised you. When you were trying to hit me with a stick and I was holding the stick from you, you said to me, you're a that's, that's, that's not true. Don't do that. I've n your sister's fighting like this with your mom. Well, it makes me like, sit down. She don't care about nothing. She don't, she, make, she put on this act. Look, you see oh, how I'm She put on this act as if she want a relationship with us. She don't want a relationship with us. You sit see, down. you trying to, you trying to make, you trying to make stuff better sit than down. you want. Satan is your daddy. Not even the power of accountability in the face of accountability can stop from bringing out this crazy single mother uh, lifestyle. You see these women, they're exploding on their own children in front of live TV. They're denying things in their face and in the face of accountability and truth in front of a live audience, in front of people there and people that were watching this. Now it's on the internet for everybody to see. This is ridiculous and this is the effect of single mother households. People like to call it trauma. I say a whole bunch of drama because those women notice that they're all manless. They don't have any man in the picture. There's no man sitting on the other side of any of these women while their own children, older and even younger, display to them and tell them, hey, remember when you did this? This was an issue. You see why we can't communicate. Even in the face of refutable truth, refutable accountability that you should take, in front of a live audience, in front of other people, and people watching all over the world. They still display all of the things that they deny. <laughs> that woman was like, don't do that to me. She said that to the son about the stick, the guy wearing the pink shirt with the, with the dreads coming down, the braids coming down. Said that, uh, remember you said you were gonna kill me and, and you had a stick and you were saying that. She's like, don't say that, don't do that. It's the truth. They're like the wicked witch, man. You can't spray them with any type of truth, any type of accountability, because they'll literally start melting. I'm melting, melting. Oh, what a world, what a world. Three miles left until we reach our destination. Why do you have a Tinder notification going off on your phone? No. Who are you messaging? I'm, I'm not messaging anyone. I, look, we're going to be together. Stop. 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 Give me my Stop. It's old. Stop. Come on. Give me the phone. It's not old. Oh, no, chill. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, Stop. My chill. God. Madison, Stop. chill. I did not want to say anything, 
But my boy Luke, he said that he fucking matched with her. Why are you just adding to the situation? I didn't match with Well, because you're Luke. doing it. Because I thought he was kidding, and now I check it. Check it. But I don't want to check it. I want to hear it from you. I... Give me my phone. Oh, That's my right. God. No, let the man do the... I'm turning this off. No, don't. No, leave that on. Leave that on. I don't even know anybody named Luke. Hey, Luke. Stop. Don't cry. Don't act innocent. Chill Stop out. Stop filming. Like, you're making it worse. All you've done is fuel the fire. Yeah, you're awesome. lucky that we even invited you on this trip, and you're just making I, it worse. I, I you're know. driving my car. <laughs> You should have given me the benefit of the doubt. The answer is hell no. Get away from me. There was nothing. Get away from me. Oh my god, get, get away from me. me. I want to go. I want to drink a motherfucking pina colada. You're annoying, dude. Like I, I think you need to just take a breather real quick, <laughs> both of you, because you're ruining this fucking trip. Because Nick, you're the only person I want to be with. Okay, that's bullshit, because then why are you on Tinder? You know say. what? Thank you. It's for friendship. I don't have many friends. I just feel lonely. It's for friendship? <laughs> yeah. well, it's more like for dick ship. Get away from me. There was nothing. Get away from me. Oh my god, get, get away from me. me. I want to go. I want to drink a motherfucking pina colada. You're annoying, dude. Like, I I'm... think you need to just take a breather real quick, both of you, because you're ruining this fucking trip. Because Nick, you're the only person I want to be with. Okay, that's bullshit, because then why are you on Tinder? Just you know say. what? Thank you. It's for friendship. I don't have many friends. I just feel lonely. It's for friendship? I, I, <laughs> well, it's more like for dick ship. In the words of Dr. Umar Johnson, we rocking with you, my brother. We rocking with you. We do, bro. We rock with you because without him, she was going to shut the camera off and like try to dodge accountability and dodge getting exposed right then and there. And she only got exposed. She got caught lacking because the Tinder notification went off. Like <laughs> women will tell on themselves, bro, without you even asking them anything. All you got to do is hang around them enough, be around them enough, spend a couple hours, spend some time with them. And you will see what you need to see and come to the conclusion. She got caught. And of course, she's going to make up things that, well, I'm lonely. I don't have many friends and I'm doing it for friendship. But of course, homie in the back, the guy whose car, she said, well, I don't know why you're here in the first place when it's his car. He said, no, it's not for friendship. You're talking about it's for dick ship. A lot of women is the men they fell in love with when they were too young to understand the impact of what a mate who did not truly love you for you would do to you. I had to cut in right here because that's incorrect. The thing is, at 18 years old, a woman typically, if she does not have a strong father that is, you know, trying to help her with the mating selection, women typically choose for certain things between the ages of 18 and like 30 years old. It's typically based on looks, charm, you know, his stature, if he's tall. After 30 years old, when women start approaching the danger zone of 35 and up, they start looking for security, provisioning. How much money does he make? If he doesn't uh, already have good money, does he have potential? Most women by 30, they don't care about that. But women between 18 and 30, they're like, okay, he has potential. I like him. I like the way he looks. So, of course, women without a man there, meaning her father to give her off or help her mate select a man and vet him, they typically make bad decisions when they may select on their own. Before they were old enough to understand their value, before they were old enough to understand that love itself is not enough to make a relationship work, when they were too young to understand how much you will grow between the ages of 18 and 25, before they were old enough to understand that finding who you are outside of a relationship will only allow for you to find the partner that is best for you within a relationship, before they were old enough to realize that the fairy tale that they were sold is not real life, and that in order to be able to have a successful, long life with somebody, it required work that both partners were willing to do. Before they were old enough to realize how patriarchy and misogyny played a role in their relationship dynamics and how extremely important it is to find a man that actually likes you and not what you do for them. Man, misogyny has nothing to do with it whatsoever. The thing is, women always wanted dominant men and they still want dominant men that are going to lead, be masculine and be alpha males, guys that they can look up to. The problem is we're in the modern day now and women like yourselves don't understand that it's not based on personality it's based off of trade-off like you're not going to just get with a man for him, you, who he is and what he likes and his personality he's going to have to provide you some type of value which is protection provisioning and you know taking care of you and willing to die for you he has to trade something off so just to think men are just supposed to look at you and date you uh over your personality it's absolutely ridiculous because men fall in love with their eyes and women fall in love with them ears it's different so how you want to frame it and how you want to project how you think these things that should be that's just not how they are but modern women nowadays they don't understand this they're not focused on understanding men 
all they are a bunch of babies saying i want it this way i want it this way it's all about me 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 and i don't care if i can't have it i'm not settling it's ridiculous man a bunch of spoiled kids in the candy store that can't get none of the candy that they want on the top shelf but all of the candy at the bottom shelf that they don't want is right there ready offering them pipe offering them relationships all these nasty simp candy but they don't want that they want the stuff at the top shelf but they're not going to be able to get it because they don't understand what it takes to get up there and they don't want to learn so this is modern women for you but let's let this woman continue on before they truly love themselves and did not need another person to validate their worth cocaine is a hell of a drug so she pretty much ended up saying a whole bunch of nothing a bunch of word salad i wish if uh should be like a whole bunch of crap like how she thinks it should be but the thing is she <laughs> she makes no sense she straight up says uh he has to love himself in order to love me properly and it's like what the fuck are you talking about it doesn't work that way it makes no sense what this woman says women always want to change men they always want to change men to what they want to be and if they do find those simp ass dudes that are willing to change for them guess what they don't like what they created and they get rid of them this is why men lead and women follow <laughs> 